morning. I decided to do a smoothie for breakfast. And I saw a video recently where you use a straw with strawberries. I don't know if you've seen it, but I decided to try it. So here we go. Okay, kids, check this out. So I got the strawberry. I'm gonna stick the straw through and try to poke out the green part. Well, it's a different kind of straw. <gasps> check it out. And then you just have a hole right there. How cool. You did it! Good job. I made my own strawberry. Let's see it. Well done, buddy. Can I eat it? Uh, let's clean it first. At least you want to try it? Can it blow out this? <laughs> but that's the only way. I think I'm going to pass out. <laughs> Push it through. <laughs> Pull down on the strawberry real hard. Yeah, you got it. <gasps> you did it! Check it out. This is my first time. Pull down. Pull, pull. Pull. Down. You got down. it, you got it. Down. Yeah. <gasps> I made my own strawberry. You did it. So there's certain things about our kids that I want to remember. And one of those things is Isaac's obsession and love with football. <laughs> Did you get all dressed up today? Mm -hmm. With your shoulder pads and everything? Mm -hmm. I think yesterday or two days ago, Isaac invented a new NFL league. How many teams are in your league? 64. 64, he came up with some pretty cool names for teams all over the country. What were some of the names of the teams? Colorado Checks, uh -huh. that's my favorite team. San Francisco Blue Jays, Mississippi Jackrabbits, Arkansas Pirates. And then he came up with which players were on different teams, right? Like, which team has the best players, do you think, of your made-up? Colorado Jets. Wh who's on their team? Peyton Manning, Phillip Rivers, Andy Dalton, Jamal Charles, okay. Adrian Peterson. I don't know if you know who all those people are, but they're all, like, superstars. He knows all these people, not even because he's seen them play, because it's not like we, wa we don't even have ESPN. He's just reading about it in his, like books and like football cards and almanacs and stuff and I realized that he didn't even know what the Pro Bowl was like the all-star football game and so I showed him a little clip of that what do you think I really like it and then the other thing I introduced him to that he would love fantasy is fantasy football anyway I just don't want to forget this his love his obsession and um, just the way that he is really into football right now it's pretty cute who is your favorite football player? Tell us in the comments below. <laughs> so, I, sometimes you may wonder, like, do we tell them to say stuff? Like, we had never told them that, never, like, he just came up with that right now. But that would be good. In the comments, favorite football player of all time, who it is for you, let us know. Alright, so it's lunchtime, and we decided to switch things up today, and we are doing Grateful Olives. I'm grateful for that I dress up like a football player today. Ooh, fun. I'm grateful for that we got to do a party and a slumber party tonight. So the kids have big plans. They want to have a slumber party tonight. Mm, I'm not so sure about that. What do you think? Finish them. That's a good point. All right, so we just had a super fun lunch conversation. The kids wanted to hear about when we found out we were pregnant with them and like what names we had considered for each of them and like the significance behind the names we chose for them. So it was just really sweet to tell them all about that. And in case you're curious, Isaac, if he was a girl, was going to be named Summer. Elise, if she was a boy, was going to be named Gabe. Caleb, if he was a girl, would have been named Claire. And little Miss Laura, if she was a boy, was going to be Joshua. All right, so I was just telling Jeremy about our name conversation that we had earlier today. Yeah. And anyway, I forgot to mention, if I was a boy, I would have been named Carl. So that's what my parents would have named me. I need to call my mom. I don't know. Hey, this is Jody. Leave me a message. Hey, Mommy. It's Jeremy. Really important question for you. If I would have been born as a girl, what would my name have been? Let me know as soon as possible. Thanks, bye. That's anyway. a good question of the day. So you guys... What would you have been named if you were the other gender? And if you don't know, 
find out. It might be interesting. Yeah. So I got to go do something interesting this morning that I wanted to tell you guys about real quick. I went to a clothing swap. So one of my genius friends arranged this, but what she said was for all of us to like purge through our closets. So I went through my closet and got rid of stuff that I wasn't wearing, I didn't like, it didn't fit, and it filled up like an entire laundry basket, like heaping pile of a laundry basket. And then we all got together at her house with the stuff that we were going to get rid of. And we let the kids run around in the backyard, she has an awesome backyard, and we moms went through each other's clothes and found stuff that we were interested in. So we just swapped the clothes that we were going to be getting rid of. But I I came home with two dresses, one skirt, one pair of pants, and I think like 10 tops. Oh, and the outfit that I'm wearing right now. So yeah, yay for new clothes, yay for free clothes, yay for getting rid of some of the stuff that I wasn't wearing like it was a win-win-win in my book. I really enjoyed it. Uh, it is hot out here. It's really, you only want to be out if you're getting wet, so uh, I think I may have to. No. Get you wet. no, 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 I'm good. Do you tell me a brown, a big giant Good job. Clean, clean, clean. Here we go. <laughs> Did we give you a hose? Yeah. Uh-oh, we're all in trouble now. Amazing, y'all are awesome. So, J House out. Hi, I'm Lise from Texas. J House out. What is financial freedom? Mm, to have freedom to like, to like, you can go swimming without telling the government. <laughs> <laughs>